after the chemotherapy, what came next? I had a three week gap and then I had my mastectomy. Hmm. How did you find the surgery? Um, particularly, I'm thinking the period on the ward, then the recovery process. Was it quite tough to go through that? The actual mastectomy itself, no, because I'd had a long time to get used to the fact that that was what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. And um, as soon as I knew that I had cancer in both breasts, I kind of disowned them mm. mentally. Mm. So they weren't part of me. So I was actually quite looking forward to the mastectomy, that it would get rid of the cancer that I knew about. Yeah, I can see what you're saying. You, you're mentally preparing yourself to um, get rid of that part which you felt was representative of the cancer. It was still quite scary though because you don't know what you're going to look like mm. or how you're going to feel about yourself. Um, so when I woke up and looked at myself I was actually quite pleased and when the dressings came off I was very pleased because it was very neat. Um, so yes. Did you have a chance to see what the result might be by seeing other patients or photos from other patients before? I can't think at that stage I'd actually looked at anything like that. Mm. So I, don't, I can't think I must have done because I wasn't really sure what it would look like. Mm. Um, no. But in any case, you were pleased with the result cosmetically? Very. And physically, did you find it a big operation to get over? It does take quite a while, yes. Um, because your arms, you've got restricted movement in your arms, particularly on my left side because they took all my lymph nodes mm -hmm. away. And obviously you have a nerve cut there. Mm. So you have to do your exercises every day. Crawl that hand up the wall. It takes, seems to take forever. It's part of physiotherapy. Until you get your hand right up, but it's worth doing. You, did you do that all as an inpatient or carried that on when you were at home? I carried that on when I was at home. You have to keep doing it. Yeah. And that also stops the lymphedema or any other complication like that? Yes. Mm. I mean, I had seromas, but that's, that's quite normal, isn't it? But yeah, no other no problems from it at all. Mm. When you were discharged from the ward, were there any residual issues that um, prevented you getting back to work or back to your normal routine at home? Um... Well, I have to have a fairly normal routine at home, whatever happens, because there is only me. Mm. So there's only me to make the bed, there's only me to put the rubbish out, there's only me to cook my dinner. So you have to do everything quite normally. Um, I think I was all right until I went back for my appointment with the surgeon after my mastectomy. And they said, there's, noth there's nothing in your lymph nodes, so th that means you're in remission. Mm. And I think I went into some sort of shock at that point. You weren't kind of ready for that information then? I don't think it was that. I think you hold yourself together mm. through, um, through diagnosis, through chemo, yeah. through surgery, mm. um, presenting a normal happy face. Yeah. In fact, I thought I was quite happy. I thought I was quite surprisingly happy. I was quite, sometimes I was quite surprised yeah. that I felt so with it mm. and happy. Mm. And then suddenly it was like a big rugs being pulled away. Well, part of what they're saying is we're not going to see you as often, isn't it? You don't need that intensive care that you would have had. Yeah, I think part of it is that you feel like you've lost a support mm. system. Mm. Particularly, I mean, with the chemotherapy, it's very much a support system. You know, you're going very regularly. Mm -hmm. You're not only seeing them, but you're seeing your own, the nurse, your own practice. You're having everything checked up regularly. Mm. And you've, there's always somebody there at the end of the phone. Definitely. And what was the what was the actual um, care that was on offer at that stage? What was still there even after they said you're in remission? What support was there? there? Um, medically, I don't think there was anything. Although I suppose there would have been because the breast care nurses were there. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think I was all right until I tried to go back to work. Yeah. And then somebody spoke to me or started to speak to me and I burst into tears and I don't think I stopped for quite some time. Mm. Maybe those emotions were, you know, building up on the inside, but you didn't have anybody immediately that, you know, you could express that to. No. 
Now that did scare a couple of people at work actually. I think they were quite shocked. Mm. Sue's been holding it together now for what, six months? Yeah. And then suddenly can't. But I did go and see, I did go to the breast care unit actually, and they referred me to psycho-oncology.